BCPS families, we are excited to share with you a read aloud of The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez, read with permission from Penguin Young Readers, a Nancy Paulson book. After you finish listening to the story, we will share some questions for you to think and talk about. Then you will see a writing prompt. You can use this writing prompt to respond to the text. You can then share your written response with your teacher. Finally, you will see some project ideas for enrichment and ways to have fun interacting with books. Enjoy! Hello students! Welcome to a read aloud of The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. As I'm reading through the text, I'm going to stop and pause to monitor my thinking and to ask questions about the text. Enjoy the story. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto from Venezuela. Your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Shayla says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile. They look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere. I'm going to pause here and think about what the narrator is sharing. I notice that she's talking about all of the other students in her class that have traveled to many places. It seems that she might feel a little sad about not being able to travel. I'm going to read to find out what happens next. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Naja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, the game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. 
Maybe you can have a turn later. I'm thinking that the narrator is talking about a time when you feel left out. Have you ever felt left out? I know that there have been times when I felt left out because I didn't get picked to play in the game or maybe because a friend didn't invite me to play on the monkey bars. What could you do to make sure that everyone is not left out? There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self. Steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin. To share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago. Reading books and telling stories and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside. Your laughters and your lunches, your books, your travel and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. How do you think the narrator is feeling now? I notice that she's talking about how you will find someone who does have some similarities to you, a new friend maybe. And although they may have some things that are similar, like Rigoberto talking about how his sister has a similar name, no one is quite like you. The narrator in this story tries to tell us a message. Can you think about what the author's message really is? I'm thinking that the author's message is about how we can all be our own selves and get to know other people who are maybe not just quite like us. I noticed throughout the story, there were times when the little girl or the little boy felt left out. And that happens all the time. But then you will maybe find a friend that can really help you out and make you feel a part of a group. We hope you enjoyed listening to the story. Listen as I read you these questions. Then you will have a few moments to share your answers with someone near you. Why was the narrator sad at the beginning of the story? How was the story written like a poem? How did the narrator's feelings change about being different? Grab a piece of paper and a pencil and jot down this idea for writing about the story. What makes you special? Write a letter to your teacher about how you are different from other students in your class. Think about the things that make you special. 
make sure to include reasons to support your thinking. Now it's time to have some fun. You can use any of these ideas to interact with this book. The narrator shared that she had not traveled much, however, had some fun with her sister and read lots of stories. Think about this time during remote learning. Create a scrapbook of the activities you have been doing. You can add photographs or drawings to your scrapbook. Be sure to write captions for your pictures. Traveling to faraway places can be a lot of fun. Think of a place you dreamed about visiting. Take some time to research a place you would like to go. Tell someone about this place and why you so badly want to go there during your lifetime. Find a picture of yourself or draw one. Label your picture with all of the physical characteristics that make you unique or different. Then write a caption that explains what makes your personality special. Share your graphic with someone special to you. Have fun!